Welcome to the PanelView Plus 7 Technical Update Webinar. My name is Joe Naus and I'll be your host for today's presentation. Before we get started, I just wanted to make sure everyone was aware that Rockwell will be holding its annual automation fair in Chicago on November 18th and 19th. This is a great venue to learn about new technology such as the L8 control logics, 5370 compact guard logics, and the new PanelView 5500. Register now at www.automationfair.com. Rockwell Automation has recently come out with both the PanelView Plus 7 standard and performance models. One thing you'll notice is that you're going to have more screen size options to choose from, higher resolutions, additional certs, you're going to have widescreen options available, and you're going to have sizes going all the way up to 19 inches. The PanelView Plus 7 standard is a machine builder focused product. It's for competitive machine builders that are facing a lot of pricing challenges. So this terminal was designed to have a one controller, up to 25 screen and 200 alarm applications. The terminal, terminal sizes range from 4 inch up to 15 inch. One thing I like about this is that the older PanelView Plus 6 Compact actually had 4, 6, and 10 inch models. So as you can see, Rockwell Automation has done a good job of filling in with additional sizes going up to 15 inches. These terminals do have a single Ethernet port and they do have a Windows CE60 operating system to allow you to use ActiveX controls to have the PDF viewer and other features. These all come as DC powered units and they do have ATEX certifications. The PanelView Plus 7 Performance is Rockwell's latest operator interface offering. It is, was designed for more robust applications and ranges in size from 7 inch up to 19 inch. Now you happen to see that the 15 inch is highlighted red. That is because Rockwell will be releasing that around the November time frame. These terminals have low profile aluminum bezels. They have an embedded Ethernet switch so that this terminal can be used in DLR networks as well as star and daisy chain topologies. The Ethernet ports can only have one IP address assigned to both, so it cannot be used as a dual NIC card solution. The x86 processor is an upgrade over the PanelView Plus 6. It will make the boot times quicker and it will also make page transitions faster as well. The PanelView Plus 7 performance does have the extended feature sets that the PanelView Plus 6 with extended feature set has, and these come in AC and DC power options. This is a listing of the PanelView Plus 7 features for the standard and performance models. As you can see, the PanelView Plus 7 standard lines up very closely, if not the same, to the PanelView Plus 6 Compact, where the PanelView Plus 7 performance model lines up from a feature perspective up with a PanelView Plus 6 with extended features. The difference really lies in the hardware changes. As you can see, the PanelView Plus 7 standard now has additional sizes rank going all the way up to 15 inches and the PanelView Plus 7 performance model goes up to 19 inches. Again, performance model does have an x86 1.6 gigahertz processor which will make boot times quicker whereas the PanelView Plus 7 standard has an ARM 1 gigahertz processor. The PanelView Plus 7 performance line is available in AC or DC power versions doesn't have the same limitations that the PanelView Plus 7 standard has and it is recommended to use Machine Edition version 8.0 to program applications with these terminals. There are 14 catalog strings that, new catalogs that are Allen Bradley branded bezels and Rockwell also has come out with 14 new catalogs with no branding on the front. The PanelView Plus 7 Performance will still have VNC capabilities as well as Factory Talk Viewpoint for mobility applications. It will also have the PDF viewers so that one could have user manuals, installation guides, or SOP documents loaded on the terminal application. Widescreen and keypad options will also exist with the performance. 
The PanelView Plus 7 Performance will have a different design than what you're used to. It's not as deep as the older, older PanelView Plus 6. You'll also notice that there's the embedded switch ports that you see at the bottom left corner. You'll see that there's three USB ports for connection to peripheral devices. Again, an SD card slot will be available for data storage or terminal replication. And there are new installation clamps to make the installation or removal quicker than ever before. The PanelView Plus 7 will have Ethernet only communications. There will be no provisions for additional communication cards to plug on the back. The standard models will have a, feature a single Ethernet port, whereas the performance models will all come with embedded switches. Again, for DLR, for star, or daisy chain topologies. The PanelView Plus 7 will still have the same productivity tools that you're used to today with the PanelView Plus 6 with extended feature set. So we'll still have the Data Store Plus to allow you to log to Excel files. It'll still have email notifications for critical equipment alarms. It'll still have remote desktop. It'll still have video playback capabilities. And it'll still have the ability to read PDF files um, to bring up user manuals and the like. The PanelView Plus 7 will also have the same mobility tools that the PanelView Plus 6 has with extended feature set. So you'd be able to still use the Factory Talk viewpoint to look at screens via web browsers. You'll still have VNC, which allows you to remotely control the Panel View Plus 7 with tablets or other PCs. You'll also have file transfer protocol, which will allow you to transfer files such as alarm logs or CSV recipe files remotely from the Panel View Plus 7 to your engineering workstation. The PanelView Plus 7 will also have SD card storage and this will allow you to do things such as the terminal copy and restore. This is a nice feature for being able to make a complete image of your operator interface screen for backup purposes or if you're a machine builder and want to replicate multiple operator interface screens doing it quickly by just moving the SD card from one terminal to the next. So this uh, slide will show how the PanelView Plus 7 performance display sizes fare with the existing PanelView Plus 6 line. As you can see, the 9-inch and 12-inch are now widescreen aspect ratios. You can see that the 10 and the 15-inch, as well as the 9 and 19, have higher resolutions. There will be adapter plates uh, available for customers that want to adapt a PanelView Plus 6 to PanelView Plus 7. The PanelView Plus 7 performance has new catalog numbers. However, as you can see, the, the main bulletin number, the 2711P part, stays the same. If you look, the main difference is the 22 at the middle of the catalog number and the P at the end indicating a performance. If you'd like a brandless option, you would simply put a dash B at the end of the catalog strings you see above. The PanelView Plus 7 Performance also has adapter plates and accessories. The catalog numbers at the top are the different adapter plates we discussed, and the mounting levers, terminal blocks, and overlays are listed below. The PanelView Plus 7 Performance price points are as listed. What I did was included the DC powered touchscreens to give you an idea of where the 7 through 19 inch models fall from a list price perspective. Again, I blocked out the 15 inch as it's not available for sale at this time. It should be out in the November time frame. Now at the release of the PanelView Plus 7, it's natural for someone to ask, well what's the longevity of the PanelView Plus 6 platform? After doing some research, I found that Rockwell plans to offer the PanelView Plus 6 throughout the end of this decade, so we're looking at around the 2020 time frame. The PanelView Plus 6 terminals support the legacy networks, whereas the PanelView Plus 7s do not. So in situations where you do have to go DH Plus or DH45, the PanelView Plus 6 will be the right choice in that scenario. However, if you're a machine builder and are using PanelView Plus 6 compacts and are using Ethernet already, 
you should really consider moving to the PanelView Plus 7 standard. It's going to provide you with better price points and more screen options and it again will give you give your end customers a longer lasting product. And remember PanelView Plus 7's whether it's a standard or performance they only support Ethernet so moving forward if you decide to use this product please keep that in mind. Well this concludes our PanelView Plus 7 technical update if you have any questions, feel free to contact me at my phone number or email address below. Thank you and have a great day. Goodbye.